All right. Hello. So in the city, Urs. So in the city, Urs. I have Miss Farmer T here with me today. What are we going to do, you ask? Well, can you see that right there? I purchased this juicer because Dad needs to <laughs> lose a little bit of this, uh, as my wife says, love handle. Well, that's fine. But it's going to be gone soon, hopefully. Thanks to this juicer. And we have some items from this Soul in the City's garden that we are going to juice today. Tell them what we have, Miss Soul in the City. We have beets. Beets. You can see here. Very good. Very we good. have carrots. Mmm. A little bit of carrots. We have some apples. No, we didn't grow the apples. Apples. In the store. And organic, we have, though. Organic. And most of this is organic. We have some kale, mm, the good, leaves, good, and the stem. Uh, that's green curly kale. Mm -hmm. And what do we have? We have a kiwi. Lemon. Oh, lemons. We didn't grow the lemons in the kiwi. This is a lemon, and we also have a kiwi somewhere in here. Yeah, sliced uh, into four pieces. Yes, kiwi somewhere in here. Um, so it, it was my idea to separate it in, into four different sections. I've made the juice before and you can get a lot into this hopper and I like to make the same consistency every time that's just the way I like to do it but I probably could put all this in in any kind of consistency and put it in a big jar and shake it up and it'll probably still be the same but I like to do it the same each time so I've separated the kale, the apples, the carrots, the beets, the lemon and the kiwi into four sections and we're going to do it four different times. And let's see how this works. That's right. What I'm going to do is bring this down a little further. And by the way, this is a Nama J2 juicer. And uh, we did some research and we were trying to figure out what was the best juicer for leafy greens. And just about every comment was Nama juicer. They have two kinds. This is a J2. The hopper is a little larger than the regular nama it's more slender hopper where you slide each individual and this is to me easier because you can load this up close the door cut it on walk away that's what i like so they say put the soft items first at the bottom so we're going to start with the leafy stuff at the bottom and i think the lemon miss so in the city would be softer next how about the kiwi that's kind of soft the rest of this stuff is hard, so we just dump it in there. Beets, apples, carrots, and we actually could get some more, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do four straight times. So we close the lid. On the front here is a knob, it's on, off, and reverse in case this poke gets jammed. So we're gonna cut it on. There it goes. And in a matter of seconds, You'll see the juice starting to accumulate here in the middle. The pulp is going to start coming out of here in just a second. And you can already see the juice building up right here. If we were to open this, it would pour out. We'll wait until this gets full. Stop. If you want to stop it, you just open it up and let it stop. And it's almost through with that. Now what we can do is go ahead and start putting some of this down the middle. There's a hole there, so we can feed it in there. Yeah, start with the kale. Squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. You could actually raise the top and it'll stop, but you know you can if you want to do that, or you can just stick it in there and keep it going. This is our second portion. And then we have two more left. There's also a pusher if you needed that, but we don't really need it. You want to just open the top and dump it on in there, save the time. We'll open the top and just dump it in there. And then we'll close the top and just start back. There we go. And we could actually put more in there if we wanted to, but we'll let this go ahead and Tell you what, it's getting kind of full there, Miss So in the city. Open that little, and it's gonna pour out into the container. Wow, look at that. You see that? 
Man, that smells good. Mmm, that smells so good. So that's how we do it. Here it is after that. We're gonna get this juice a sample. Yeah, yeah, this is all of our pulp. And my daughter says it's pretty dry. You know, she's telling the truth. It's really dry. It's pretty dry, yeah. See here, Miss So and Sleep. Oops. A little, a little sloppy. But. Mmm. You smell that tea? Mm -hmm. Smells so good. We are going to taste the juice. See what we got. That's good. That's good. Is it good? Mm, I can taste the tartness though that's different from the last one. That's the lemon in it. But that's gonna be good mm -hmm. for your dad, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the this lemon. one's got a little, oh, you know what I put in last, last time I had celery too. Mm -hmm. I forgot my celery. But that's okay, we'll make some more. The next one we're gonna add celery. My daughter says I should add ginger, but <laughs> dad, dad can't take that ginger. It's really good, dad. Yeah, this is good. But it's got a little tart to it because of lemons but it's good. 